Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Luminance football. The commercials are loud on here. Mute that. 2020 Panini Luminance football. Full case, random number, uh, random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. One combo, Falcons, Texans are comboed up. All card ship, of course, a lot of fun stuff. That's great photography right there as well. So, really nice new release. Big thanks to all of these. Wonderful people here for getting to the action. So there should only be 29 on this list, or 31 on this list, because we did combo the Falcons and the Texans. So let's roll it. Randomize it and find out. Five and a four, nine times for each list. One. There we go. Perfect. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final. After nine times, we've got John Stallone. Down to John. If you see that little, if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in one of our mini breaks, little filler breaks. Nine times for the teams. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the, oh, my rivals, the Denver Broncos. Oh, right next to the Raiders right there, too. Down to the Bears. All right, so John with the Denver Broncos. Jordan, you got my Las Vegas Raiders. Mike with the Jets. Tyler with the Titans. Chris with the Jags. Jarrell with the Dolphins. Tim with the Colts. Robert with the Bengals. Tony with the Panthers, Steve with the Ravens, John with the combo teams, Falcons and Texans. Ryan H with the Niners, Peter with the Eagles, Anthony with the Saints, Brock, you got the Seahawks, Tony with the Pats, John with the Vikings and Giants, Laura with the Cardinals, Tim with the Rams, Ryan H with the Buccaneers, Nancy with the Redskins, Tim with the Lions, Peter with the Packers, Steve with the Chargers, Peter with the Steelers, Sean with the Buffalo Bills, Last Spot Mojo, Kurt with the Chiefs, John with the Cowboys, Ron with the Browns, and John with the Chicago Bears. All right, so let's get all that on one screen. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time, and then uh, see if there's any trades when we come back, and then we'll have that full case break right there. Stick around, we will be right back. All right, welcome back folks. Chase Elliott won the NASCAR All-Star thingy race. Kyle Busch came in second. I had, I had some winning picks. None of them won. But let's hope we find some winners for these people right here. Thanks for getting into it. Full case. Luminance. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We've been doing some half case breaks. I've been looking pretty good. All card ship in this, which is pretty great. And we got some absolute baseball coming up after this, too. Is this going to fit in one container? I don't know. I don't think so. All right, hang tight. MTG, what, what time will we be accepting word on the website for nice time? Um, well, we accept orders 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The website can accept orders anytime. I guess the, your question probably is, is it going to break tonight? Um, probably. So I'd buy spots. I think we're, we're having a... Uh, we're gonna have someone get on here in the nighttime after me. So my shift is my eight hour show is usually between one and nine o'clock Pacific. 
But we should have a, we should have, I think Sean will be coming on for a few hours after me to, uh, to debut the late night shift. All right. All card shift, folks, and we'll sleeve and top load all these um, later on. And our first year one autograph out of here, Green Ink, Justin Jefferson. I think these are pretty short printed. They're not serial numbered, but I think there's not very many one, of, not many of the green ones. 10, 15, something like that. All right, so checklist. I think he, is he a Ram? No, he's a Viking. Justin Jefferson's a Viking. All right, an all card ship as well. So if I miss like a serial numbered card, fear not. All right, uh, John Salone with Minnesota. I guess similar colors to LSU, so maybe that's how I can, how I'll remember next time. We've got Thurman Thomas, Buffalo Bills. That's for Sean and the Bills. Buffalo. Justin Herbert looks nice. I really like the design of these cards. There's Juju Smith Schuster, 99, and there's Van Jefferson. That's for the Los Angeles Rams. Oh, maybe I was thinking of Van Jefferson, not Justin Jefferson. There you go. 58 out of 100 for the Rams. It's a terrible logo, though. Doesn't that look like a Chargers logo? That's a 250. And we've got, for the Purple Birds, Malik Harrison. 46 out of 50. That goes to Steve H. with the Ravens, who uh, got that spot in a team random. Or in one of those randomized in a mini break. All right, next box. Todd Gurley still Rams in this set to 50. There's Joe Mixon to 299 for the Bengals. And we've got a Hunter Bryant. Is, he, is Hunter Bryant a Lion or is that Harrison Bryant? Not quite in midseason form yet. Hunter Bryant is a Lion. So he, Washington is what, the Huskies? He, he, he went from a, a dog team to a cat team? Hunter Bryant, nice on-card autograph for Detroit. That will be for Tim. Nice Chase Young, that's a great shot right there. It's 250, and we've got Daniel Jones. New York football giants, that's going to go to John Salone, Big Blue. Terry McLaurin to 75. And then we've got Brandon Cooks. Jer Brandon Cooks to 99. 48 out of 99. Jersey and auto, Brandon Cooks to 99. Rams edition going to Tim. Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Yeah, good race for Chase Elliott. I did not have him as one of my picks. 
but good one for him. There's Drew Locke, jersey and auto. He's got a lot of weapons this year, so we'll see what happens. 72 out of 99. Broncos. That is going to be for John Salone and my rivals. Oh, it's the wrong top order. Brandon Cooks, never forget, Kurt. Never forget. Brandon Cooks, 99. All right, I wonder what that guy's doing right now. Probably breaking under a different name. Something, but he, he's, I don't know, someone, someone's got a, should be able to out him at some point. I don't know. That's 250. And there's Devin Bush to 100. Steelers, Peter Lombardo. Is everyone uh, everyone familiar with the Brandon Cook to 99 story? It's a fun one. MTG does not. It's it's a good story to reset. Who, what, wait, 116, do you know the person's name? Is it Dustin Clay? Is that the person's name? Le'Veon Bell to 75. Jeff Gladney to 299. Wow, 116, you were, at, you were actually in the next break? So it was a, um, this goes to the Vikings, by the way, and that's for John Stallone. It was an honors football break. If you remember Panini honors, where they it's once like a box that looks like a black gold size box, and you open it up and they have the two card in case cards that are like this, right? And it was like uh, it was a really nice product. It still is. They they do it every once in a while. It's a really nice product that Panini does. There's Jeff Okuda for the Lions, who two ninety nine. And you know how like I like to slow play some of the breaks, so uh, you know. So you'll, Lions, by the way, Tim Langston. And so he had the, the, the cover of the box up, like I do with a leaf break. So it kind of hides that. And he pulls, he pulls out, there's like another kind of BS card that's just kind of there in the middle. And he was showing that. And it's right on the camera about like this. And it's Brandon Cooks in 99. And he, he kind of gets into like a feedback loop in his head. And he keeps repeating it because what he's doing, he's shuffling around in the back in the camera that's kind of covered because of the cards right there. He's shuffling around the back and he's pretty much, he's switching cards out, right? Still speculation as to what the actual card was inside, but he's shuffling, shuffling around and then he tries to claim that, oh, I was just checking my email, answering an email or something like that. Yeah, let me check up, check my email. It's like, that's what I was doing. It's like, no, like you can, you know what the sound of like, in case cards clicking against each other sounds like, you know what I mean? It's a distinctive sound. I think Jake Fromm is uh, Bills. Yeah, Bills. So he gets in a feedback loop as he's doing that, just mentally, right? So he's just like, all right, so here's Brandon Cooks in 99. Brandon uh, Cooks to 99. I'm not in shuffle, 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 you know. Sean Maddock with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! And he switches out this card. And meanwhile, people are freaking out in the chat. People are like, hey, what are you doing, man? You know, like, what the hell's going on? And he's like, nothing. I'll just check my email. And then... I actually don't know what happened after that. I think he just got called. Did he just shut it down? Did he shut down the stream? Just disappear? So 
So he'd taken out a card, replaced it with a, with, with a card, and yeah, then he spent like a week. Yeah, he just so so he just shut it down, and then he spent like a week defending himself. He was just like, I want to say like six months later, he tried to come back, and then uh, and then he, people recognized his voice or whatever, and he got he was reshut down. We were just like ousted pretty much right away. Like no one, he was outed. Like all the Facebook groups, like don't break with this guy. Blah blah. blah. And welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway for the first time ever. But yeah, it you can you can it, you know if you're not in this break, especially Steelers, Peter Lombardo, you can go and look it up. I think the I think videos are still uploaded somewhere on YouTube. Forget what you need to search, but you'll be able to find it. There's DJ Moore to 99, and Kelly Bryant to 299. Kelly Bryant is none. And that's why his college is still on there, so we'll randomize this to one person in the break. This will be, it looks like Jacob Nip, Kelly Bryant, and Nathan Rourke are the three uh, people who don't have... Uh, aren't associated with a pro team, according to groupbreakchecklist.com, which is what we're going to go with. So I'll re-randomize everybody's name at the end. New dice roll. Name on top. We'll get this and uh, any other of the non of the nuns. It'll be collect them as a lot. Uh, spot two, if there's any points in here, looks like we, we were generally seeing one or two points per case. But if we see points in there, that'll go as a lot to spot two. There you go, Kelly Bryant. We'll also go with that. Clavon Chasen to 299. Oh, there you go. Ron's got you. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not do the story justice. You've not if you've not seen it, it's worth it's worth watching just to see how just re, how it's very cringy. Jaguars, Chris Datillo. But yeah, it's it's very cringy. I mean, I don't know. And there's Jameis Winston to 50. Kind of sad. You know, like... <laughs> but it's just something to, to watch out for, ladies and gentlemen. We were also talking about Jameis Winston during the trade window. The fact that he had 30, 30 or more touchdowns and 30 interceptions, that's incredible. Does that ever happen again? All right, year one signature, so that's an on-card auto. Number 14. C-A? Cam, Cam Akers, probably. Yeah, Cam Akers, who is, I think, is a Ram? Yeah, he's a Los Angeles Ram. Tim Langston with the Rams. I feel like uh, people have been, in general, a little more savvy with group breaks. I'm sure there's still some shady stuff that happens in some dark corner of the internet somewhere, but but I'm pretty sure that uh, pretty sure that a lot a lot of people are more more savvy nowadays and are able to kind of see the bar set higher for for a breaking operation, you know what I mean? There's some more options too, more quality options out there. Ryan H, you finally saw it? Tough to get through, right, Joey? Yeah. Cause you're, it's just like you're almost tearing your hair out cause you're, you're like pulling your hair cause like, oh my God, that's so obvious. All right, there's Devin DuVernay to 75, and Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins relic for Nancy and the Washington Redskins, or the Washington whatever new name they're going to have. Transferring from the open, Clint Boyer goes after his first All-Star win in his 11th appearance after winning the fan vote. The Emporia, Kansas driver 
Josh Allen to 75, and we've got Colby Parkinson, tight end for the Seahawks. Is that a catch? I'm not sure about that. Not sure if that's a catcher or not. Seattle, that will be for Brock. Jeff Okuda to 250, and more Lions. DeAndre Swift. Tim Langston with the Lions. Right, right, right. Yeah, it was a... It, yeah, I think he was doing the video, the break video, on like his phone or something like that, but it was kind of a... It's more of a potato... There's Jordan Love for the Packers. 14 out of 100. It's going to marinate marinate behind Aaron Rodgers for a little bit. That's uh, Peter Lombardo with the Packers. But yeah, I, th I think he eventually on a Facebook group somewhere was like, oh yeah, it was just, a, it was just, it was an Ezekiel Elliott or something like that and blah, blah, blah. And, he was, and people were just like, you risked all that income for Ezekiel Elliott? I think the I think people don't, people think it was a much more valuable card. And Brandon Cooks was numbered to 99, J-Dog. Classic. All right, next box. All right, good luck. Next box. Going back to Jameis Winston, there's Curtis Samuel. I mean, you got to have... the opportunity to throw 30, 30 interceptions. You know what I mean? Like, once you start getting up to 30 interceptions, you're, you're not starting games anymore. There's Eno Benjamin, year one. A Sun Devil who turned into a Cardinal. He stayed in Arizona. Yeah, Tyler Moore saying that video is legendary. All right, Laura with the Cardinals. There's Swift again to 99. And Cam Chancellor relic for the Seahawks, another one for Brock. But yeah, every once in a while we have to we have to reset that story and let some of the new people know about that history and you know just keep an eye out for that particular person. I think one one six was saying it was Dustin Clay. Keep an eye out for that person or just any other shadiness out there. Just keep an eye out. There's AJ Green and Stephen Montez. To 100. Nancy, Redskins. Or Red Tails. Or Red Hawks. Or Warriors. Or Generals. It's to 250. And we got Clyde Edwards Hilaire running back. 112 out of 299. Was he the first running back taken? Late first round by the Chiefs? I think he might have been. Kurt with the Chiefs. There you go, Kurt. Sure, if I need to watch this Bristol race again, do I? Probably not. What are we? What are we? What are you? What is everyone else watching? Someone said there was there was uh, some fighting on tonight. 
Oh, yeah. There's UFC Fight Night. So we'll see who's fighting. Oh, nice, Tyler. Yeah, thanks for thanks for switching on over. Uh, ESPN one, main ESPN, regular ESPN. I don't know if if the main event's like a paper. It shouldn't be like a pay per view thing, right? When Wednesday night UFC fight night. All right, there's Devin White, MTG. Yeah, Brandon Cooks and I, what a dirtbag. You must have thought everyone's an idiot or blind, yeah. That's why it's like super cringy. You're just like, oh, don't do it, guy. <laughs> like sometimes I watch it and I'm, and I'm just like, no, 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 don't do it. It's not worth it, man. <laughs> it's Carson Wentz to 99. And we've got a Viking. 171 out of 299, Jeff Glanby, Glanny. All right. John Salone with the Vikes. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah, we, we like to add a bit of a sports talk radio vibe to, to our breaks. I mean, it makes it more interesting for me. There's Alan... Uh, Fansea, I think, 12, this cursive, yeah, Fene Feneca, Fenesa, Steelers, I don't know why I'm stumbling over that name, uh, that will be for Peter Lombardo. Alright, there's Derek Carr to 50. And Drew Locke to 299. And we've got Anthony Gordon, year one autograph. Anthony Gordon didn't go too far. He went to Washington State. Then he got uh, picked up by the Seahawks. Brock. Next box. This is full case break, random team number one. It does take a bit of time, but we're almost there. We've got one, two, three, four, five boxes left. So another 20 minutes or so, we should be done. We'll do a quick recap at the end of this break as well, and it's a little bit of a longer break. We've got a uh, we've got more half case picker teams in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com if you want to go through that. Got one one of the seven spots from Optic Fat Pack 44, 34. Did we do a 34 today? I don't think so. Yeah, we're at we're on 37. So yeah, that must have happened days ago. Check our check our list of videos and you should be able to you should be able to find it. And that mixer's done too. I don't think the mixer's even on the side anymore. Devin White, Buccaneers, Ryan H. Dwayne Haskins to 299. And for the Browns, we've got Grant Del Pitt to 100. Yeah, folks. Pro tip: if you don't see the if you don't see the break itself on the site, or it's it has advanced in numbers, it's most likely been completed. So double check our video list first. 
All right, that's to 50. Bryce Hall. And Ravens, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews Relic. Autograph. There you go. Ravens. Steve. Steve H. And we have McCann and Santos fighting. There's light speed, Russell Wilson to 100. Another redemption. Uh oh, <laughs> MTGs went down that went down the the group break scammers rabbit hole on YouTube. Yeah, there's unfortunately a lot more than than there should be. Uh, year one signatures, red variation card 13 T E. T O oh, T Higgins. It's Clemson's T Higgins. Bengals. There you go. Robert Grease with the Bengals. Maybe we can find T Higgins' new teammate. All right. Marching along. Next box. Yeah, every once in a while you gotta watch the uh, those scammer videos, and and I think you'll you, you'll uh, appreciate the good breakers a lot more after you watch stuff like that. All right, any bucks? We did pull that Devin White relic. That that was a buck. Made Edmonds and Keyshawn Vaughn, but yeah, I, I want to find a Bucks Brady. He's got base cards in here, folks, in his Bucks uniform. Tom Brady. All right, there's Keyshawn Vaughn, and he will go to the Buccaneers. There you go. See, squeaky wheel. Um. Yeah, they they do different colors. Yeah, I don't know if it's neon, but yeah, the the blue ink are the standard ones. I think. I think the, there's green, there's red, and maybe purple. But yeah, which rep? They're not numbered, but they'll represent various. Uh, yeah, the how short printed it is. And there's some Niners. Nick Bosa relic. Also for Ryan H. There you go, Ryan. Todd Gurley to 2.99, and we've got for the Bills Jake Fromm, four out of ten. Oh, there you go, Ronbo. Yeah, you got red ink, green ink, purple ink. Those are the parallel cards. Yeah, it's not on the black design last year, TJ. They're, 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 they just look like this now. I kind of did like that. There was a green ink version. I think we last luminance break we did today had a had a red version. All right, nice Jake from Buffalo. Sean Maddock with the Bills. What's the story with Jake Fromm, Ron? It's just, uh, Ron's a Bills guy. It's just... Points. So remember, points will, will be second on that list right there. Jake Fromm... Um, as, a, as, as a backup? Yeah, Jake did. Thankfully, thankfully, there's no one. How old was he when he did? I guess it wasn't. 
I guess it's not like he's like 50 years old. He was like, that's something I said in high school. Oh, was it recently? Oh. Yeah, that's not good then. From, oh, so Ron is saying, Fron is, Jake Fromm is just trade bait. They had no plan going in for a QB. But the fact that he was still there in round four, they felt like they couldn't pass him up. So they're going to snag him and try to flip him. All right, interesting. So Josh Allen's feelings aren't hurt or anything like that. Kind of 25. There's Albert Okoibanum. And there's out of 99, Minshew. And that's our first purple ink autograph. And all the breaks that we did, I don't know if Jason pulled any, but purple ink autograph, Cole Komet. And Cole Komet goes to the Bears. Chicago Bear. Who's got Chicago? That'll be John Stallone with the Bears. Cam Chancellor for the Seahawks. That will be for Brock. Brock and the Hawks. All right, so Josh Allen, franchise player, says Jet. The future of his Bills. There's J.J. Watts, 299, and Antonio Gandy-Golden, wide receiver for the Washington whatever they're going to be. But currently, in this set, still a redskin. All right, Nancy with that one. She won that spot. One of our mini breaks. All right, that's the 75. There's... DJ Dallas, and there's Ashton Davis for the New York Jets. Jets auto going to Mike G. D -d -d DJ Dallas in the mix. All right, two more to go, boys and girls. Let's see what we got here at the end. Last two. How uh, how are Bills fans feeling about the upcoming season? Josh Allen, I feel like everyone likes Josh Allen. He's got a cannon for an arm. People say accuracy might be a little bit of an issue, but he's got a cannon for an arm. You guys... Else was there? Didn't Stephon Diggs go there? Yeah, Stephon Diggs is on that team. Devin Singletary is pretty good. That defense is already defense is already pretty strong. It's out of uh, 10, 5 out of 10. Tua. And there's George Kittle to 99. And Hunter Bryant to 99. Lions, Tim Langston. Not a top loaders here. There you go, Detroit Lions finally getting pro. And there's the dynamite parallel right there, Tua, for the Dolphins. And that will be for Jarrell Taylor. I 
nice. There's a number right there. Five out of ten. It's a nice parallel. Ooh. Bills fans thinking nine and seven and the division? That's possible. I mean, unless unless Cam Newton just really rocks it. And there's Kyler Murray. How, how does it feel like having Nathan interception of Peterman? Yeah, I don't think he's going to see a lot of snaps this year. All right, Patrick Mahomes. If he does, the, the Raiders, Raiders are in trouble. There's Eno Benjamin to 100. Arizona Cardinals. That, that means Carr is injured or ineffective, and that means Mariota is injured and ineffective. <laughs> so if Nathan Peterman's getting snaps, that's a sad season for my Raiders. Laura with the Cardinals. That's to 99. There's Cole Komet. And for the Blue Horseshoes, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. 29 out of 100. JTT. He's just a JT. but Tim Langston with the Colts. All right, one more box to go, and then a, then a quick little randomizer. Yeah, the Raiders hard knocks. I thought. I mean, I'm biased. I'm a Raiders fan, but I thought it, I thought it was pretty fun. Ron just needs Peterman to just have one decent game, so his one dollar autos turns into three dollar autos. Yeah, I mean, Nathan Peter may may not have a chance to live that game down. I mean, on one hand, you gotta you gotta admire him for uh, continuing to just keep firing. You know, I don't know. Some guys might it might get in their head and they get gun shy. They're like, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna throw the ball. You know, I'll just keep handing it off. I'll just keep throwing like short passes and keep checking down. There's T. Higgins and another Cardinal, Isaiah Simmons. Autograph to 100 for Laura and the Cardinals. But the fact that Nathan Peterman kept firing, kind of have to admire, admire that. Yeah, hard knocks. I mean, if, if Antonio Brand stayed on the Raiders, I think that would have made it a good season. But the fact that he... You know, shot himself in the foot. Oh, Joe Burrow, red ink. Year one autograph. There he is, Bengals, Robert Grease. There you go. Very last box. Yeah, there's like a, there's a dynamic Tua right below him too. There you go. Playing to the whistle. Gets the Joey B at the end. I like I, I like I like that he rocks the Joey B. All right, nice. So overall, not a bad break, ladies and gentlemen. There's out of two fifty, and there's another Devin White relic for Ryan H. Oh, one more. It's Austin Mack. That's, that's a two ninety nine for the New York Football Giants. John Stallone. Return of the Mack.
All right, there you have it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Dems the breaks. Big thanks to everybody. We'll do a recap in just a second. But we're going to re-randomize everybody's name on top gets this, and the second name will get that. All right, Ryan, thanks. I'll see you. So flip back to this screen right here. All right, so everyone from, from Laura down to Nancy has a shot of those little extras. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Seven times. Top two after seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then final time. After seven times, it's Chris and John. So Chris, you'll get the uh, extra autograph, the Kelly Bryant. And we'll, we'll just send you all the other Kelly Bryants and the two other players that don't have team affiliations. And John, will uh, you're going to get the 250 points. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Quick recap. All right, kind of a longer break. We'll, do, we'll knock out a recap. Nice autographs. Now, take a look at the penmanship, ladies and gentlemen. I think in general, especially compared to last year, I feel like the penmanship is a notch or two better overall than last year. Even the, even the simple two-letter autographs, you know, seem to have a little extra penmanship flair to it. Jordan Love drawing a heart. I feel like generally, it seems a bit better than than previous years. I don't know. I mean, I, I, that could be shortened to Van J at some point. Justin Jefferson, Hunter Bryant. These year one autographs look really great. Jake Fromm, you know, Benjamin, Anthony Gordon, Keyshawn Vaughn, Cole Komet, and Joey B. Nice Joe Burrow, red ink autograph out of here. Folks, that was a great break. 12 box, random team one. That was 20, the brand new 2020 Panini Luminance Football. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll break more of that with you next time. Bye-bye.